Firstly, when you think of him as just an actor, he is in fact a philosopher. His ability to influence the world and continue to do so stems, on the surface, from his formidable martial arts skills, but at its core, it is his thoughts and philosophy that truly make a difference. Secondly, when you consider him a philosopher, he is actually more of an actor than an actor, placing special emphasis on the cultivation of an actor, and being against the illusions of superstardom. He uses martial arts as a medium to faithfully express himself on the big screen, an actor with strong personal charm and cultural communication power. In 1970, why did he voluntarily close his chain of Jun Fan Kung Fu Studios to become an actor? Because he loved theatrical performances, but more importantly, as a philosopher who could foresee the future trends and the underlying truth of martial arts dissemination, he played a supporting role in the Hollywood series The Green Hornet, yet his exquisite Chinese Kung Fu performance outshined the lead actor's brief success across America. This made Bruce Lee realize a fact. Martial arts are a mass cultural weapon with global and pop culture attributes. To amplify its cultural power and make it a global mass pop culture, relying on opening chain martial arts studios is difficult. Instead, the dissemination power of opening hundreds or thousands of studios is not as effective as making a single movie. This was the fundamental reason why Bruce Lee resolutely left the American martial arts community and returned to Hong Kong to shoot true martial arts films that fully reflected his own martial arts and film philosophy, becoming a professional actor. Why was Bruce Lee able to spread Kung Fu around the world and form a global influence? Because he made an incredibly accurate choice of film as an unparalleled medium and platform for dissemination, thereby integrating the cultural power of Kung Fu, his personal performance talent, and the strength of a top martial arts master with the platform's dissemination power, and bringing it to an unprecedented and unrivaled level. Thirdly, when you think Bruce Lee is just an actor, he is actually a true martial artist who transcends the times, a practitioner of combat, the father of MMA, and a great master who has opened up a new realm for modern human martial arts fighting. He created the era-shattering, unrestricted, unsectarian, and interdisciplinary scientific research, training, and practical application of Jeet Kune Do. He personally coached and transformed top American world karate champions, and cultivated them into the father of American kickboxing, being a powerful behind-the-scenes promoter and invisible boss in promoting the historical process of the development of modern free fighting. This is also the historical reason why the PKA World's first kickboxing professional competition in 1974 publicly paid tribute to Bruce Lee. Subsequently, through his true martial arts films, he created a worldwide kung fu craze and a global martial arts pop culture phenomenon, which directly reshaped the new ecology of the development of modern martial arts culture, greatly liberating the thoughts of traditional martial artists and breaking the shackles of traditional martial arts on the creative vitality of martial artists. This laid the ideological foundation for the subsequent arrival of free fighting, kickboxing, and the era of MMA and so the seeds of evolution and development. This is also the historical source why the mainstream international martial arts community recognized Bruce Lee as the father of MMA decades later. Undoubtedly, the core foundation of all of Bruce Lee's thoughts that influence the world and his achievements in film and television performances is martial arts. Without Bruce Lee's transcendent, integrated martial arts strength and achievements as a base, enhancement, and value added. Bruce Lee's global influence would be out of the question. Everything would become rootless and sourceless. So, why can Bruce Lee influence the world? Because he was first and foremost a true martial artist who transcended the times, had profound knowledge of Chinese and Western learning, and whose martial arts cultivation and creations continued to influence the world. He was a fighter, a great master, a Chinese martial arts philosopher. Secondly, he ultimately chose the right platform for the dissemination of Kung Fu culture, accurately spreading the millennia-old Kung Fu culture, advanced martial arts thoughts that transcended the times, and fully displaying his dazzling and exciting personal self-expression and the charm of humanity. The formation of Bruce Lee's global influence is the result of the combined effect of all the above elements and the resonance of humanity. In the early 70s of the last century, his influence swept the world like a hurricane. Then, in the decades after Bruce Lee, 
as people continue to resonate alternately with Bruce Lee's thoughts and spirit, and the continuous intergenerational promotion of Bruce Lee's abstraction from a person to a god, it has made Bruce Lee's global influence resonate and amplify, not decreasing but increasing, becoming eternal.